the numbers would suggest with the record that Anne Renee is having the best season for a goaltender in NCAA history, would you say that she's having the best uh, season of any goaltender you've ever seen? Well, I think the numbers and the, and the record uh, speak, you know, to answer that question, yes. Uh, you know, she's been consistent. Uh, she's gotten better over the course of the season, especially, uh, you know, I think she's made another step uh, after our Christmas break. And so, uh, you know, kudos to her for, you know, putting up those numbers. Uh, as I looked at them Saturday night, uh, they're a little mind-boggling because as a coach, you don't think about individual players, uh, a goaltending, a goaltender doing that. Because, I mean, we've only played 36 games and over half of them have been shutouts. And, you know, that's probably an unrealistic number if you're sitting here in September looking at what you might want to do over the course of the season. But uh, it's become what it is, and certainly happy for her and certainly happy for our team. Jeff. Mark, if I remember correctly, you alluded to, in the days leading up to the series, the fact that they would come in you know, with really nothing to lose. I'm just curious what your level of concern going into the series was about how your players would start, whether they would be able to start quickly against a team that you know, could come out and just you know, throw everything at you. As I mentioned, uh, you know, in that conversation, it's, uh, you know, when the playoffs start, and I remember in the NHL, it was, it was the same way, whether you finished as a one seat or an eight seat, you know, you throw everything out, and, and the object is to prepare yourself for who you're playing against, and the easiest thing for a player to look at is, uh, you know, the statistics of, of the opponent and figure, well, it's going to be an easy game, and, and your mindset, you know, shifts into that direction where, uh, you know, in our business, uh, a goaltender can win you a particular game, uh, you know, and it seemed, uh, you know, you look at Bemidji in, in Minnesota Duluth, if you look at their records and you might say, well, okay, this team's going to win, but, you know, at the end of their first game, you know, Duluth wins five to one. And so that's the mindset and the preparation, all the things you do leading up to the game. And as a coach, uh, you know, you're waiting for the puck to drop and see how your players respond. And that's what I liked about our team this past week. And we came out and played the first period very fast, very quick. and. Uh, you know, sent a message to, you know, everybody in the building and the opponents that, you know, we're, we were here to win. How does the approach change this weekend, knowing it is only one game and you can't, you don't have the luxury of, you know, if you drop the first one, you get the next one the next night. How do you, how do you change the approach with your team this weekend? Well, I think in practice, uh, you know, you look at things that will give you a good chance to, to be successful um, as we break down Duluth and, and what we need to do to give ourselves an advantage. And, you know, then it's just business as usual. I think for the player standpoint, it's exciting because uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know that's out there. So, uh, you know, if we're fortunate enough to win, uh, the hard part is Duluth season will be over. And so uh, when you're up against the wall, hopefully it brings the best out in each of the players and creates that excitement. and. Again, you're looking for similar things that I saw this weekend, that first period uh, Saturday afternoon come out with a lot of excitement, a lot of jump, a lot of energy, and uh, uh, wanting to win the game.